going to get this. Multiplication is not this difficult. Honey, please. Not now. Easy there, tiger. I know a few great ways to solve multi-digit multiplication problems that I'm sure will make your life easier. Come on, let's go. This is the first way, the traditional way. That's the way you and I learned it when we were kids. You line it up and solve it and keep track of everything you do. Seven times two is 14. Remember to carry that one. Then seven times one is seven. Add that one, make it eight. Bring the zero down because we're doing the tens now. One times two is two. One times one is one. Add them together. Four plus zero is four. 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, 204. That's the way most people learned it. So let's try something a little bit different. The first way I want to try is right here. It's called the breakdown. The entire focus of using this method is what you're doing is you're breaking the numbers up into what I call friendly numbers. Friendly numbers are 10, 5, and 2, but 10 really being the friendliest number. And then we break the problem up. So let's break the 12 down into a 10 and a two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these and multiply them by the broken down 17. 10 times the 10 and the 17 and 10 times the 7 and the 17. Now we'll take the 2 from the 12, we'll multiply the 2 by the 10 and 17 and we'll take the 2 by the 7 and 17. Multiply them all. 10 times 10, great friendly numbers. It's 100. 10 times 7 is 70. 2 times 10, 20. 2 times 7 is 14. Much easier than doing it the traditional way. Now we add all these together. I like to group them together to make the addition easier. 100 plus 70, 170, plus 20 plus 14, which is 34. Add these together. 0 plus 4 is 4. 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry the 1. And 1 plus nothing, 1, remember that extra 1, is 204. Same answer we got the traditional way. All right, hold on a second here. For adults relearning multiplication, this looks really confusing. So let me explain it. The 12 times 17, what we're doing is we're breaking up the numbers, as I said before. The 1 in the 12 is in the 10's place. So that equals 10. That's why there are two 10's below. The 2 in the 1's place that's a two. That's why there's two twos below. So we've separated this number into different smaller chunks. And then we have to multiply both those parts in that number by both parts in the 17. The one in the tens place of the 17, which is a 10, and the seven in the ones place, which is a seven. So we have 10 from the 12 times 10 in the 17. 10 from the 12 by 7 in the 17, 2 from the 12 by 10 in the 17, and 2 from the 12 by 7 in the 17. And multiply them together, add them up, makes it much easier. Let's keep going. The last and most perplexing, it's called the box. It's a lot of fun. Hey man, my wife is going to wonder where I am. Not after that tantrum. Look, we use the same numbers, 12 and 17 but now we put them in this box. This is really similar to the breakdown, but it's just a little more fun and it's organized differently. Check it out. So we're gonna take the same problem we solved earlier, 12 times 17, and we're gonna do it in what's called the box. It's really similar to the breakdown. Take a box. We give it two boxes on each side according to how many numbers are in the problem, and we do the breakdown. Let's break up the 12, put the 10s up top, two down below, and let's break up the 17. The 10 right here, the seven next to it. Now we just multiply. 10 times 10, 100. 10 times seven, 70. Two times 10, 20. And two times seven, 14. Now what I do, add them together. 100 plus 70, 170. And 20 plus 14, 34. Make sure you have the ones lined up with the ones, the tens lined up with the tens before you add. Zero plus four is four. Seven plus three is 10. Bring that one up here. And we bring the one down. And don't forget that one that we carried, which makes it two. 204. Same answer we got in the traditional way and the breakdown way. 
Different strategies work for different types of learners, and these three strategies solve the same problem. Now you're going to sleep better at night, right? This is great. He's totally going to understand it. But will you? Do you feel better now, honey? I do.